You wanna get Cisco's Fantasy Medieval RPG mod pack, and in this video we're gonna show you exactly how to get it. This is a really good mod pack that adds a ton of stuff to Minecraft, including skill trees and the Origins mod, which allows you to select specific character traits, things like that, custom weapons, armors, all of that stuff, and new enemies and everything else you would expect, including magic mods, which I feel like are really, really unique and cool to see in Minecraft. You don't see a lot of magic mods making it into mod packs these days. So in this video we're gonna show you exactly how to get Cisco's Fantasy Medieval RPG. Let's go ahead and jump into it. And first things first, you are going to need CurseForge. To download the CurseForge launcher, you want to go here. This is the second link in the description down below. And this is our in-depth guide on getting CurseForge. It goes over everything you need to know. We're going to be going over the basics in this video, but if you want to like in-depth look at the launcher with like how to change settings and install custom mods and things like that, this guide here will help you do that as well as the text guide down below. But once you're here, go ahead and click on the download CurseForge button here to go to CurseForge's official download page. On this page, you want to go ahead and click download standalone and when you do you may need to keep or save the file but it's a hundred percent safe to do that while this is downloading how much from our company simple game hosting you can check out simple game hosting at the first link in the description down below the breakdown to next way to start your very own cisco's fantasy medieval rpg mod pack in just a few minutes you can easily add other mods to your server add plugins to your server and install hundreds of mod packs outside of cisco's fantasy rpg plus there's expert live chat support there to help you out along the way so stop struggling to host a minecraft server and play minecraft with your friends on Cisco's Medieval Fantasy RPG Mod Pack or any other mod pack you want quickly and easily. The first link in the description down below the breakdown to XYZ says SGH. Installing CurseForge now that it's downloaded is actually super easy. All you've got to do is minimize your browser and find the CurseForge file that you downloaded. Most likely it's going to be in your downloads folder here. As you can see it is for me. And then once you found it, just double click on it. And then it installs just like any other app. As you can see, we have the CurseForge Windows installer here. Click on Next. Go ahead and agree to their terms of service, assuming that you do. Click on next again, and now it's going to download and install. It's that quick and easy. Once it's installed, you'll get a desktop icon, and it should go ahead and open up right like this. If it doesn't open up, you can always use that desktop icon to open it. Now, there is a little intro here that can be helpful to go through. Some different stuff about, you know, how it supports mod creators, which is amazing. Love to see that. And some of the other stuff that you can do with CurseForge. And then finally, it'll say get started here. It'll start to get everything ready, but you still need to make sure Minecraft is ready. Luckily, this is done within the CurseForge app as well. As you can see, it says Minecraft here, but it's not installed. Go ahead and click on it, and then make sure Standard is checked, and then click Continue. And now, it's going to get everything ready for your Minecraft mod packs. You don't have to do anything else from here in order to get Minecraft ready to go with the CurseForge launcher. With Minecraft set up, you'll land on this My Mod Packs tab here. Up here at the top, well, this is where we want to search for our mod pack, which is Cisco's Fantasy Medieval. It's probably all we'll need to type in there. And there it is, Cisco's Fantasy Medieval RPG. If for whatever reason this isn't the first one here, you can filter by mod packs, and you'll see all of these Cisco mod packs. There is a light version of this mod pack if you'd prefer that, but we're going to be going with ultimate in this video. Click on the orange install button next to the mod pack here and it will begin downloading. You go to the my mod packs tab and watch that. It is worth noting you may need to add more RAM to this mod pack. To do that go to the cogwheel on the bottom left the settings and then go to Minecraft. Then you can change your game resolution here if you want or you can scroll all the way down and add more memory or more RAM to Minecraft for Cisco's RPG I'd recommend. Uh, somewhere between six to eight gigabytes of RAM. You may need more, may need less, kind of depends on other factors as well. But you can add more RAM right here. I'm going to go with 10,000 megabytes, which is 10 gigabytes. It's a bit overkill, but I've got the space world on my computer. Never dedicate more than half the RAM in your computer to Minecraft. Now, if we go back to the My Mod Packs tab, we'll have this finish up and then hover over it because a orange play button will appear once you do. Click that play button and the Minecraft launcher will open. Now, in the Minecraft launcher, you'll need to log in. And that's 100% safe to do because this is the default Minecraft launcher that you normally play Minecraft with. It's just launched through CurseForge. And once you're here, go ahead and click on Minecraft Java on the left-hand side. Cisco's Fantasy Medieval RPG should already be selected. Click play, click play again. And now Minecraft will open up with this mod pack installed. Once you're in game, you can play multiplayer. You can join a single player world. It is really up to you. But Cisco's Medieval RPG Ultimate Pack is now installed. If you've got any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. And if you wanted to play on the server, do so. The first link in the description down below. The breakdown dot xyz slash sgh super easy to start your cisco's medieval rpg server there nevertheless we'll see you in the next video and i'm out peace